Yo, what up, what up? Simo, back with a new art project for you. Having some fun with the power of magnetism and black light while suspending nails in this psychedelic mix of a web and flower. I was trying to get creative as usual and do something different, so I decided to use old markers and highlighters by taking out the ink to make my own black light reactive paint. I cut fishing string and arranged it so that I could have the glue paint drip down to create a web-like texture with lots of color. With enough strands done, next comes measuring out and drawing the design before using the scroll saw to carefully cut it out. To smooth out any imperfections, I used my Dremel tool and that sawdust gave me a good reminder to always wear glasses. Always wear glasses. Then I used fine sandpaper to get a smooth finish. Now I was ready to paint the main background. Next I used a razor blade to cut slots in the edges to hold the web like string. I then tied the string around the nails and began slowly but surely placing them at just the right length to be suspended by the center magnets. I don't know how I accidentally deleted the clips of making the centerpiece, but I made it by stacking layers of felt pads which are outlined with white decorative tape and topped with white vinyl. Then used a set of 10 powerful neodymium magnets stacked together at the top which you can see the silver shining from out of the middle. With the nails and string in place, I coated them with more layers of glue so that the drips would array towards the center. Next I began decorating the centerpiece using vibrant circular rubber bands and I ended up having to use tacks so they didn't pop out of place before the glue dried. This was much more of a challenge than it looks, but I eventually got there and was happy to start adding more details with the glue paint as well as some puffy paint for added texture. I then added more texture and color to the wood to overlay the drips trying to get lots of different shades all throughout. Satisfied with the overall layout, I began super gluing the rope to the edges, doing only a few inches at a time to make sure it dries and seals tightly all around. After that I started adding the beads and realized it was a bad idea to use iron pliers around such a powerful magnet. Next I added more details to the main pattern and had to do this three times to get enough coverage. I also added this color shifting glaze so that it would show those blue and purple hues in the daylight. Almost finished now and adding glow in the dark paint to the center which I added fluorescent glitter to and topped with a gem like bead that kind of reflects the surrounding colors. All that was left was adding the clear sealer and give it an extra shine and a long life and I was finally done. Hope you guys like it and appreciate all the work that goes into bringing it to life as well as putting this video together for it. It's very time consuming. You have no idea. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments and message me for purchasing info if interested. Thanks as always and please help me spread this video around to gain some more support. I could really use it and you know I appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get the notifications of each video. And thanks again and I'll see you or you'll see me soon. Much love. Simo out. Haha! -ha! Yes.